Become acquainted with your breath. Maybe begin to see if you can let your inhales become a little deeper, a little fuller. I feel like I teach gentle classes, so I do get people who come for the very first time. I want it to be a good experience for them mm -hmm. um, because it's their first time. I don't want them to walk away saying, well, I'm never doing that again. Mm -hmm. I think yoga can be pretty intimidating to a lot of people because what they're seeing portrayed in the, the media, it looks really, really hard. And so I think that's people's perception of yoga is that you have to be really, really fit to do yoga. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's true at all. I always tell people that anyone can do yoga. Mm -hmm. Absolutely anyone. If you're alive, you're breathing. And if you're breathing, you can, you can begin to find a yoga practice that's right for you. Get in a comfortable position and, and breathe, and you are still practicing yoga. And I really, really try in my classes to make it okay for everybody to be exactly where they are, that that's okay. Part of my yoga practice is the physical asanas, but it's also been just learning life skills not only to be physically more flexible, but how to be more flexible and adaptable in life. I think a lot of people come to yoga to help their body feel better, and I think that's absolutely fine because it does do that. Mm -hmm. But because you're being mindful of the breath and you're being mindful of how you're moving, you're being so present. I think even if people think, oh, I'm just going to use this to exercise, those other things begin coming in. It's just this wonderful way to connect to yourself, you know, to find wholeness in a way. And I don't think there's anything else like it out there. I've seen just tremendous transformations in people, as well as myself. It's so simple, and yet it's so powerful.